Next up, we are going to talk about development methodologies. So development methodologies is a battle between dogmatism and pragmatism. Dogmatism is people who just have a zeal. They say that this way is the way. If you deviate from this way, all is lost. Pragmatism, pulling together what works in the moment. And there are definite benefits to both. The people who are more dogmatic versus pragmatic actually, I, I believe, produce a better uh, level of insight into the system because they're really spending a lot of time focusing on their tool and what it can do and how to optimise it. They actually produce a better kind of raw product, but pragma uh, pragmatists can then look at all of these raw products and go, I'll take that bit from there, that bit from there, and they can be more effective you know, when it comes to changing requirements and changing projects. So what is a software development methodology? So it is a process or a series of processes used in software development. Again, quite broad, but that is things like uh, a design phase, a development phase. Um, uh, it is ways of thinking about uh, things like, uh, say, waterfall uh, being a non-iterative kind of process. Um, generally, it takes the form of defined phases and it's designed to describe the how of the life cycle of a piece of software. And also, it's codified communication. So you're actually setting a set of norms between a group of people that say, this is how you are going to work and this is how you are going to pass information between each of you in certain ways, whether that's documentation, whether that's discussion, whether that's drawings on paper. So some examples, um, because you know, there couldn't be that many different software development methodologies. There are as many as you can possibly find and pretty much any time someone has one and decides to vary it even slightly from an existing one, they will put a new label on it and call it something new. Which makes it really, really quite hard to uh, be across all of the different types. And one of the things I kind of want to talk through is how unimportant it is to be uh, fixed on using just one of these. Um, so I'm going to talk through a few different ones. I'm going to talk through Agile, I'm going to talk through Lean, and I'm going to talk through Waterfall. Look at some of the pros and cons of all of them and how every one of them has benefits that you could use to apply to your business. Before we begin though, the biggest single lie when talking about software development methodologies is that there is one outright winner, that if you use this process it will produce perfection every single time. And that if you, don't do, if you don't get a good result out of it, that you yourself have misapplied the process in some form. That is the hardest part. Like it is saying that it would have worked had you done things in a different, had you, had you adhered to the process more carefully. <laughs>